Tonight, correspondent Shannon Bream looks at how sexual harassment claims have become big business and big headaches for business. These types of claims, unfortunately, are a cost of doing business, uh, some legitimate, some not. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission handled nearly 12,000 sexual harassment complaints in 2010, but that's estimated to be just a small fraction of the claims that employers handled internally, rather than proceeding to any formal legal adjudication. Companies often give a payout right. with or without any okay, acknowledgement of wrongdoing. Uh, it saves them lots of time, lots of headache, lots of diversion of resources, and those decisions decisions are made every day and don't indicate any sort of wrongdoing took place. And while each agreement has different terms, almost all have one major thing in common. About 99.9% .9 of the agreements would have a confidentiality agreement where the parties agree not to disclose the terms and conditions of a settlement, what's been paid, whether the uh, complainant had to leave as a condition. In the case involving GOP candidate Herman Cain, the attorney for at least one woman who accused him of harassment and then accepted a payout from the National Restaurant Association has reached out to the association in an effort to get the non-disclosure portion of the deal lifted. Attorney Jason Schwartz, who's represented hundreds of employers, says he'd be stunned if the organization consented. That'd be extraordinarily unusual. I've never seen it happen before. Unusual or not, plaintiff's attorney Deborah Katz, who's not connected to the Kane matter, says she'll be surprised if one or more of Kane's alleged accusers doesn't go public by week's end, regardless of whether the Restaurant Association grants any type of waiver. Not only would I not be surprised, but were I representing them, I would tell them they have claims. And they could certainly come forward right now, uh, today, and file a lawsuit saying the settlement agreement that I entered into was violated. Here's how. In general, if a former employee who has accepted a payout violates the confidentiality terms of a deal, the employer can sue to recoup that payment, though experts disagree about whether the National Restaurant Association would do so in a case as prominent as this one. In Washington, Shannon Bream, Fox News.